such a tremendous honor to again be graced with your presence, Majesty. You left us with such great dispatch upon our last encounter that I must confess I had begun to worry that we may have given your Majesty some cause for offense. Such a heartfelt display of remorse. Now what is it you want? I want you to give me the Nethysite. The Nethysite? That is a base imitation. We seek Wraithwald's legacy, the ancient relics of the Dynast King. They affected Nethysite. Did you not tell them, Captain Azalus? <sighs> Majesty, he speaks of the Dawn Shard. That is the Nethysite. <sighs> are you mad, Vosla? If we are to save Dalmasco, we must accept the truth. I will fight this profitless battle no more. <sighs> Captain Azalus has struck a wise bargain. In return for the Dawn Shard, the Empire will permit Lady Ash to reclaim her throne, and the Kingdom of Dalmasco will be restored. Think on it. An entire kingdom for a stone, you must admit, is more than a fair exchange. And when all is said and done, your master will have another pet. Lady Ash, let us take him for the people of Dalmasca. Your Majesty wallows in indecision on peril of their heads. And his shall be the first to fall. Well, at least your sword is to the point. To think the relics of the Dynast King were deifacted Nethysite, Dr. Sid will be beside himself. What did you say? Captain Azalus, take them to Shiva. They should have leave to return to Rabanasta soon. I want you to assess its power. Did our orders not specify that we return the stone for testing? I will not chance returning with a stone that is yet unproven. Return to Dalmasca, we can announce that you are alive and well. I will then continue our negotiations with the Empire. I believe Lars has the key. He'll listen to us. We should trust him. Who are you, Vossler, to talk of trust? A son of Dalmasca. equipment here is limited, so we'll be using the ship's drive to make our assessment. Once we've connected the stone, the reaction should be easily measured. Methods do not interest me, only results. <sighs> Friend? Such heat! The mist, it's burning! <gasps> 6,800, 6,900, 7,000! This must be de facto Nethysite! The count still climbs! Ah, we found it at last. True de facto Nethysite. The power of the Dynast King in my hands. Mm. Blood alone does not an Emperor make, vain. What is this? Something's wrong! What is it? <laughs> You stand! <laughs> Hold her down! <laughs> What's wrong with her? I always
always knew Fran didn't take well to being tied up. I just never knew how much. How about you? I like Fran's idea. Let's get out of here. No farther! Sky Pirates, the future of Dalmasca will not be stolen. <sighs> Why do this, Bosch? This struggle is futile. You must know where it leads. I do know. All too well. Engine power falling rapidly. It's negative. Impossible. Engine we can room, this is the bridge. Report. What are they doing down there? What's happened? Disengage it at once. I want that. We're trying to get the it. Let me out. Ash, let's go. All I have done, I've ever thought of Dalmasca first. I know you do. I would ne'er gainsay your loyalty. Look on what my haste has wrought. Did I act too quick? Or was your return too late? I can serve her no more. You must take up my charge. Leviathan is sunk. The Eighth Fleet of the Arcadian Imperial Army lost. 
As word of the events in the yacht sounded throughout the Empire, quit I, Bujerba, citing sudden malady. My true motive, to bring the various counter-imperial forces scattered throughout Ivalice together in unified resistance. By this time, Lady Ash had made her return to Rabanaster. She had not, however, made known her presence. Rather, she was content with keeping both her own whereabouts and those of the Don Shard concealed. Had she chosen then to go before her people, my error in announcing her suicide would be known, to the great detriment of my efforts to assemble a resistance. In such circumstance as the Lady Ash then found herself, even were she to proclaim Dalmasca restored, it would serve only to invite the Empire's wrath. Though Arcadia had lost her Eighth Fleet, she remained, as ever, a military power with which to be reckoned. Empire assembles a vast host under guise of martial exercises. It is our belief they wait for the proper pretext, the sooner to make their strike against Arcadia. The loss of Leviathan and her fleet at such a time comes as a most grievous blow. Were Azaria to invade, the battle would be hard fought. Had Lord Vane not deployed the fleet so capriciously, we would not now find ourselves in such perilous circumstance. Lord Vane shall be made to answer for his actions. It is the will of the Senate. Excellency, though he be your son, justice must be served. A convenient thing, justice. And so I must now make a choice between my throne and my son. A most lamentable situation for us all. Oh? For Lord Vane, perhaps. Yet surely Lord Lhasa will make for a fine emperor. Lhasa so adores his brother, and he is yet young. But he will not remain young forever. Already he busies himself unraveling Lord Vane's tangled skein. Lord Larsa has found his role to play and pursues it with some enthusiasm. Ah yes, and who would set him at such tasks? What matter? Lord Vane himself once saw his elder brothers brought to like justice, did he not? At your Excellency's behest, as I recall. <coughs> you may put yourself at ease, Lord Gramis. So long as the Senate watches over her, Arcadia's well-being will ever be ensured. By your will, I shall bid Vane return to Arcades.